Okay, let's start Alberta rule test number one. Let's start the quiz. And our first question related to Alberta quiz is the key to emergency banking is to stop the vehicle as quickly as possible without looking the wheels. The correct answer is option A. Next one, question number two. And the question is in all conditions you should drive at the speed that will allow you to that will allow you to stop within safe distance option b is the correct one next question and our third question is direction given by a police officer our rule uh, all traffic signs and signals next question our question number four is wearing a seat belt in a collision will it will decrease your chance of being injured or being killed option d is the correct option of this question next one question number five when parking facing downhill you should turn your front wheels towards the curb or right shoulders next one question number six when driving in heavy fog you should use low beam headlights option b is the correct one question number seven a school bus with red signal lights flashing is stopped what does the law require you to do the law required you to do stop 20 meters away 20 meters before you need to stop next one question number eight if a tire blow out you should you should take your foot off the gas pedal and steer the vehicle firmly in the direction you want to go option d is the correct one next question question number nine a minimum safe flowing distance in traffic is in traffic is a two second gap to the vehicle ahead option a is the correct one next question question number 10 traveling at high speed increase fuel consumption okay for every 10 kilometer per hour above 90 kilometer per hour you will burn how much more fuel uh, it will burn almost 10 percent more fuel Net. option b is the correct one next question and our question number 11 is how close may you legally park to the fire hydrant the correct answer is c option c is the correct one next question question number 10 and question is a yield sign indicate that the yield signs indicate you must slow down stop if necessary and go only when the way is clear option d is the correct one next question question number 13 when two vehicles approach a four-way stop sign intersection at right angles to each other and at the same time then in this case the vehicle approaching you to the right should be given to the courtesy of proceeding first option a you need to select here next one question number 14 most automobile skids are a result of uh, it's the result of driving too fast too fast option a is the correct one next question question number 15 and uh, our question is what is the driver of a motor vehicle not permitted to carry in a house or boat trailer the correct answer is persons option b is the correct one next question vehicle approaching a steady red traffic light may it may turn left from a one-way street or a one-way street after a complete stop unless prohibited option b is the correct option next one if a pedestrian is using a white cane it indicate that it indicate the pedestrian is visually impaired option c is the correct one next question question number 18 a solid white lane in a roadway means it means lane changing is not permitted option c is the correct option next one question number 19 if your vehicle is having mechanical problem then you should change lanes safely and move off to the road option c is the correct one next question question number 20 where there are no posted speed limits the maximum speed in cities towns villages and buildings up area is uh, almost 50 km per hour option c is the correct one next question question number 21 at an uncontrolled intersection you should need to yield the right of the way to any vehicle on your right side option b is the correct option 
नेक्स्ट वन क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेंटी टू If there is no stop line or mark crosswalk to an intersection, you must stop within how many meters of the intersection roadway? You need to stop almost uh, three meters of the intersection roadway. Option C is the correct one. Next question, question twenty-three. Before moving off from a park position, you should always signal and check for the traffic. Option D is the correct option. Next one, question number twenty-four. A pedestrian facing a flashing or a steady hand or don't walk symbol should should not start to cross but finish crossing the street if they have already started. Option B is the correct one. Next question, question number twenty-five. Which of the following hand and arm signals is correct for slowing or stopping? The correct answer is arm out and arm down. option c next one question 26 unless otherwise posted the maximum speed limit on a provincial highway outside an urban area is the maximum speed is 100 km per hour option d is the correct option next question question number 27 upon approaching a stop sign a driver must need to stop then proceed when safe to do so option b is the correct option Next one, question number twenty-eight. When entering a freeway, you should signal and increase your speed to merge smoothly within the traffic. Option C is the correct option. Next question, the second last question of this quiz. A broken line at the left of your lane means the broken lines on left side means you may pass if the way is clear. Option D is the correct option. Next and the last question of this Alberta quiz. and our question is it is illegal to pass another vehicle when uh, when approaching vehicle are too close okay a broken yellow line is on your side of the center line okay a sign indicates a no passing zone and fourth one is a solid yellow line on your side of the center line okay first three options are correct so you can choose any one of them i will choose option a next and guys here uh, this sign test number 1 related to alberta quiz is completed so we are going to start alberta sign test number 2 so i i click on this driving test and it will show me a pop up where all the states are visible i will click on this alberta button and it will show me all the quizzes which are related to alberta states now we have just solved alberta rule test number 1 and we are going to start alberta rule test number 2 so let's start this quiz first question of this quiz is the law requires that the wheels of the parked vehicles are within what maximum distance from the curb the correct answer is 50 cm option a is the correct option question number 2 when a pedestrian has indicated their intentions to cross the street then in this case you must stop your vehicle before entering the crosswalk and allow the pedestrians to go first next question question number 3 you should not follow bicycle riders too closely because bicycle riders do not have a brake light to warn you when they are stopping option b is the correct option next one question number 4 you are required to report all the collisions to the police if the overall damage to property exceeds the correct answer is dollar 2000 option b next one question number 5 to obtain a class 7 learner driver license uh, you must be uh, 14 years of age or older option c is the correct option next question question number 6 the holder of a class 5 operator license may not operate it may not operate a motorcycle next one question number 7 when you wish to take the next exit on a highway the correct procedure is to the signal move into the exit lane and slow down option d correct here next one every driver involved in a collision must remain at the scene it will not allowed to go anywhere else it must remains at the scene option d is the correct option next one question number 9 when exiting a highway slow down after entering the deceleration lane option a correct here 
नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन क्वेश्चन नंबर टेन थ्रेश होल्ड ब्रेकिंग मीन्स थ्रेश होल्ड ब्रेकिंग मीन्स यू आर ट्राइंग टू यूज ऑल द ब्रेकिंग फोर्स अवेलेबल विदाउट लेकिंग द व्हील्स ऑप्शन बी इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन नेक्स्ट वन क्वेश्चन नंबर इलेवन विंटर ट्रेशन इज अफेक्टेड बाय अ स्लिपरी कंडीशन इन विंटर ड्राइवर यूर यू शुड ड्राइव यू शुड ड्राइव स्लोअर ऑप्शन सी इज द करेक्ट ऑप्शन नेक्स्ट वन क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेल्व एंड अवर क्वेश्चन इज what is meant by the term space cushions space cushions means the space all around your vehicle option d is the correct option next one question number 13 be cautious of large vehicle braking because because large vehicles have large blind spots option d option a is the correct option next one question number 14 a braking skid occurs braking skid mostly occurs when you apply your brakes too hard next one question number 15 and our question is do not park your vehicle vehicle not park within 1.5 meters of an access to the garage private roadway or a driveway next one question number 16 when you are following a motorcycle allow extra space between your vehicle and the motorcycle because because motorcycle can stop in very short distance option d is the correct option next one question number 17 every driver must carry third party liability insurance of no less than no less than $50000 option a next one question number 18 is a motor vehicle operator permitted to back a vehicle into an intersection or a crosswalk in an urban area the correct answer is no option b is the correct option next one question number 19 you must signal uh, you need to give signals doing any of these things turning changing lanes or moving from the curb or a parking lane option c we need to select here next one question number 20 solid white lines indicate that these solid lines indicate that lane changing is not permitted option c next one question number 21 a bus is defined as a motor vehicle that is designed to have a seating capacity of more than of more than 10 seats option a next one question number 22 glare can blind you in a day time or at night if glare makes it difficult to see the road you should you should need to slow down option b is the correct option next one question number 23 if a vehicle is equipped with abs and a driver needs to perform emergency braking then he or she need to do uh, it they need to they need to apply steady firm pressure to the brake pedal option c next one if your headlights fail you should you should toggle the headlight switch okay turn on your hazard lights this one is also correct sound your horn so first three options are correct you can select any one of them next one question number 25 when you are preparing to make a right turn you should uh, check your shoulders you should check your shoulders to make sure another vehicle is not beside you option a next one question number 26 hydroplaning can cause your vehicle to skid hydroplaning is caused by it caused by your tires riding on top of the water option a next one question number 27 what is the best way to ensure that there is no vehicle or cyclist in your blind spot the best way to ensure that is to make a shoulder check option a next one question number 28 before entering your vehicle walk around it to check for to check for pedestrians to check for children and to also check for oncoming traffic all of these options are correct next one and the second last question of this quiz question number 29 you must not follow within but distance of any emergency vehicle that has its siren or lights operating the correct answer is 150 meter option b next one question number 
if your vehicle comes equipped with an airbag system transport canada recommends that you should position yourself at least at least 25 centimeter from the steering wheels option b is the correct option and guys here sign test number two of alberta quiz is also completed so we click on this alert driving test and here all the states are visible we go to this alberta states and now we are going to select alberta sign test number three so let's start this quiz question number one which three factors go into determining how long it takes to stop uh, the factors are going to determine is breaking time reacting time and perception time all three options are correct so you can select any one of them next one question number two when visibility becomes so poor that it is no longer safe to continue driving you should you should uh, do not attempt to drive until conditions improve option a and option c and option d are also correct so also check out that next one question number three never use the cruise control feature the correct answer is uh, on winding roads it's correct on wet slippery snow or icy surface it's also correct and the third one is in urban traffic all options are correct option b c and d these three are correct options next one question number four when you are planning to leave the highway and you miss your exit you should you should continue the next exit and make plans to return to your route option c next one question number five the vehicle for your road test must be acceptable working condition and must have they must have signal lights option d is the correct option next one question number six in a traffic circle uh, in a traffic circle the vehicle on a right must yield to the vehicle on its left side option a next one if your headlights fail then if the headlights are still not on turn your hazard lights it's correct next one is turn the headlights switch on and off and the next one is slow down and pull off the road in a safe place option a option c and d are correct next one question number eight but you cannot see a vehicle in your rear and side view mirrors at is said to be uh, your it's because it is called to be your blind spot option c next one question number nine speed limits indicate speed limits indicate the maximum speed permitted in perfect condition option b next one question number 10 when an emergency vehicle is approaching you from any direction and is surrounding a siren you must yield the right of the way by by stopping until the emergency vehicle has passed and check that there is no emergency vehicles are approaching option a is the correct option next one question number 11 when you see a yellow flashing pedestrians activated traffic lights you must slow down your uh, speed almost 30 km per hour option a next one question number 12 when you enter a right hand curb you should steer slightly towards the right side of the road option b next one question number 13 large trucks requires large trucks requires more time and space for starting stopping or turning option c next one question number 14 if a death or injury occurs as a result of driving while impaired the minimum license suspension even for a first offender will be uh, it will be almost for 60 months option d next one question number 15 how many demerits points will be recorded against your license for failing to yield the right of the way to a pedestrian in a crosswalk the correct option is four points option a next one question number 16 on multi-lane highway slow moving traffic should travel should travel in a traffic lane to the far right unless the left lane is required to make a left hand turn option b correct here next one question number 17 
tourists or visitors from other countries are permitted to use valid operator in license for a period of for a period of 3 months next one question number 18 how many demerit points will be recorded against your license for failing to remain at the scene of the accident almost 7 points will be recorded against your license next one question number 19 when approaching the end of the passing lane, driver in the right-hand lane must, must merge safely with other traffic to the left moving in the same direction. Option A is the correct option. Next one. Question number 20. Anyone found guilty of driving with a blood alcohol concentration over 0.08 for the first time will be disqualified from driving and the license will be suspended for Lessons will be suspended for next 12 months from the date of conviction. Next one, question number 21. When moving from one lane to another, you must, you must check your blind spot and turn to the correct turn signal. Option A is the correct option. Next one, question number 22. Who is responsible for ensuring that all passengers under the age of 16 years are properly restrained inside a vehicle the correct answer is the driver option b next one question number 23 if you are in a funeral procession you may follow through the intersection controlled by a stop sign or a red sign without stopping you must have your headlights on or may only proceed only proceed if all of these conditions are applied next one Question number 24. U-turns are not permitted in urban areas in which of the following situations? Uh, at an intersection controlled by the traffic lights, uh, this situation is also correct. On a roadway between intersection, it's also correct. There a sign prohibits making a U-turn. Okay, it's also correct. So you need to select uh, option B, which is all of these situations. Next one, question number 25. When driving, footage can be deadlage and it can be caused by it can be caused by for the reason is driving for long period of time. Option B is the correct option. And guys, Alberta sign test number three is also completed. So we are going to the Alberta page where we select Alberta sign test number four. So let's click on this Alberta practice test number four and let's start this quiz. Question number one, you are required by law to notify Alberta registries of the name and the address change. Uh, immediately, you need to provide this information. Option A, next one. Question number two, unless otherwise posted, when entering a playground a zone during hours when controls apply, what is the maximum speeds are allowed? The maximum speed allowed here is 30 km per hour next one question three on a city street the car ahead is making a right turn then in this case you need to pass on the left if there is a second lane and you need to uh, slow down option a next one question number four unless otherwise indicated when entering the main street from the road driveway or parking lot you must you must stop before entering there next one Question number five, a white diamond marking in a lane means in a lane is reserved for specific vehicles. Option A. Next one. Question number six, to recover from a skirt, you should steer in the direction you would like to vehicle to go. Option B. Next one. Question number seven, white lines exit to exit to separate traffic traveling in the same direction option c next one question number eight school zones ends when a traffic sign indicates either a higher speed or the end of the zone next one question number nine signaling your intention before turning or changing lanes the correct option is it is required by the highway safety code next one question number ten during poor weather conditions such as rain your headlights need to be low beam option d next one question number 11 
a white x in the lane means it means you are approaching a railway crossing option c is the correct option next one question number 12 vehicle facing for a steady amber light must must come to the complete stop before crossing the stop line or crosswalk on a near side of the intersection option c next one question number 13 broken yellow lines indicate that it indicate there is advocate side distance available to permit passing option c next one question number 14 if a front tire goes flat then your vehicle will pull strongly to the strongly to the side that has the flat tire option a option b next one question number 15 how many demerits points will be recorded against your lessons for failing or stop for a school bus uh, six points will be recorded against your lessons next one question number 16 vehicles facing a flashing green light the correct answer is may proceed straight through and may turn left or may turn light option a option c and option d are correct next one question number 17 driver lessons under graduated driver lessons program or restricted from uh, operating a vehicle the correct answer is when any amount of alcohol has been consumed option d next one question number 18 it is legal to make a right turn on a red light yes after coming to the full stop next one question number 19 when is it legal to do a u-turn outside urban area it is legal when you can do it safely and without interfering with other traffic option a next one question number 20 yellow lines exit to it exit to separate traffic traveling in opposite direction option a next one question number 21 when a red x is indicated over a driving lane then it means uh, this x indicated sign means a driver must not enter or remain in that lane option d next one question number 22 when you want to pass another vehicle on a two lane road you must not you must not exceed the speed limit when passing another vehicle option c next one question number 23 anyone found guilty of driving with a blood alcohol concentration over 0 0.08 who has a prior alcohol offense in the last 10 year is disqualified from holding on separate lessons for separate lessons for 36 months from a date of conviction option b next one question number 24 and the second last question of this alberta quiz if feeling tired during driving then then you need to take a rest and walk around your vehicle option b option a next one question number 25 a learner with a class 7 license is not permitted to drive a car between the hours of between the hours of midnight to 5 am option a and guys alberta sign test number four is also completed we will meet you in our next video with the new quizzes till that goodbye